Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before entering new vendors into your company file, you should ensure that you have the vendor default set as desired to prevent having to enter repetitive data values into each new vendor record that you create. You can access this information by selecting Maintain from the menu bar, rolling down to the Default Information command, and then choosing Vendors from the side menu that appears. The Vendor Defaults window is where you store information that is common to most of your vendors and your purchase transactions. These are the default settings that are applied to each new vendor record that you create. Therefore, you will want to set these settings to the most common settings assigned to new vendor records. Note that you can always override your default settings on a per-vendor basis when you create the actual vendor records if necessary. In the Vendor Defaults window, you can click the Payment Terms tab to create the standard terms for payment that are applied to the majority of invoices that you receive from your vendors. Now here is where you also set the default general ledger purchase account number your discount general ledger account and any discount allowances as well. Now specifying these terms allows you to set what are then referred to as the standard terms most frequently assigned to you by your vendors. Once again, you will be able to change these on a per vendor basis as needed. On the Account Aging tab, you set the default aging settings used for the bills received from your vendors. You can also select whether your purchase invoices should be aged by invoice date or due date by default, and set the brackets that are most commonly used for aging your company's payables. You can create up to five additional fields for maintaining custom information on your vendors within the Custom Fields tab. Here you define the names of the data fields that you would like to record, and then you fill in the desired values for each new vendor record as you create them later. On the 1099 Settings tab, you define the way that Sage 50 reports and tracks payments made to 1099 vendors. For any accounts that are used for vendor 1099 payments, you can specify which calculation setting to use from the drop-down that is available. Once you've finished entering your vendor defaults, simply click the OK button to apply them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.